State Flowers Photo Gallery. The first Alabama state flower, the goldenrod, was made official in 1927. In 1959, it was changed to be the camellia. It was reaffirmed 40 years later in 1999 as the official state flower of Alabama. In 1917 Alaska named the alpine forget-me-not as its state flower. The forget-me-not is a top choice for cut flowers, partially because it is one of the few plant families that display true blue colors. The state flower of Georgia was adopted by the state in 1916. Derived from the Cherokee Indians, the Cherokee Rose is a white flower with a golden center and usually blooms in the early spring. Guam's state flower is also called Puti Tai Nobio and known as the paper flower. It grows bright pink, red, purple, orange and white flowers. The flower is native to tropical and subtropical regions of South America. The Hawaiian name of the yellow hibiscus is Pua Mao Hau Hele. Other names include Brackenridge's rosemallow and native yellow hibiscus. This species can be either a large shrub or small tree. It is endemic to Hawaii and considered to be endangered. The syringa has been Idaho's state flower since 1931, and grows in blooms on a woody shrub. The name of this species, Lewis E., is named after Meriwether Lewis of the Lewis and Clark Expedition, who wrote about the syringa in his journal. When schoolchildren in Illinois were given the chance to pick the state flower, they chose the purple violet, Viola sororia. These little beauties love to grow throughout the state. Some may consider it a weed since it tends to pop up everywhere, but it does have pretty flowers. Originally the state flower of Indiana was the zinnia, but the peony became its state flower in 1957. Peonies come in a variety of colors and no particular color was selected for the state flowers. This lovely ornamental bloom can be seen widely throughout the state. Established as the state flower in 1897, the wild prairie rose comes in varying shades of pink, red, white and yellow. Its very fragrant petals are editable, and birds especially love to eat the rose hips of this flower in the winter. Known as the Sunflower State, Kansas chose the cheery sunflower as its state flower in 1903. These come in a variety of heights and flower head sizes, so there is one to fit in every garden. You can harvest the seeds for birds or eat them yourself. As you might guess from the name, goldenrods are plants covered with golden yellow flowers. It spreads easily through rhizomes and can become invasive in some areas. It is also the state flower of Nebraska and the state wildflower of South Carolina. The southern magnolia is an icon in the southern United States, so it's natural for Louisiana to choose it as the state flower. Mississippi also gave it that honor. This beauty produces large white flowers that are fragrant. Click to learn more about other magnolia trees and shrubs. The official state flower of Arizona is the saguaro cactus bloom. This particular cactus is indigenous to Arizona and can grow to gigantic proportions, sometimes reaching a height of 40 to 50 feet during its average 175-year lifespan. Strangely enough, the state flower of Maine isn't a flower at all. The eastern white pine was chosen as this state's flower in 1895. Maine's nickname is the Pine Tree State. This black and gold flower was adopted by Maryland in 1918. Its color seems thematic to the state, yellow and gold are also found in the coloring on the state's cat, insect, and bird. This state's flower has been on an endangered list since 1925. The delicate flower was officially adopted by Massachusetts in 1918. It's also known as trailing arbutus or ground laurel. Michigan is one of the states that has named a state flower as well as a state wildflower. The apple blossom was adopted as the state's flower in 1897. Michigan produces many apples annually, and this particular species, the Pyrus coronaria, is an especially fragrant bloom. Minnesota's pink and white lady slipper became first suggested as the state flower in 1893 but wasn't officially adopted by the state until 1967. 
Just like it took quite a long time to make this flower official in Minnesota, the flower itself takes a very long time to grow. It can take up to 16 years before the plan will produce its first bloom. Once it does, it has a long life of up to 50 years. Mississippi is called the Magnolia State, a fitting name considering the magnolia is also the state tree. The flower was selected by schoolchildren in Mississippi in 1900, receiving the most votes among its competition, which included the cotton blossom and the Cape Jasmine. Missouri decided on its state flower in 1923. The small poems, an apple-like fruit that is produced by this tree, are collected to make jam. Bitterroot can be found in the spring and the summer. The flower was adopted by Montana in 1895. Historically, some Native American tribes used the roots of this plant for food and trade. Goldenrod has a surprisingly long season, lasting from July all the way through October. The goldenrod was adopted as Nebraska's state flower in 1895. Nevada's state flower since 1917, the sagebrush, is also called big sagebrush, common sagebrush, blue sagebrush and black sagebrush. It is a silvery bush that grows in dry desert terrain, and has a strongly recognizable fragrance when it gets wet. Arkansas adopted the apple blossom as their state flower in 1901. Its delicate white and pink flowers create flowing accents all over the southern state. A lilac bush can live for hundreds of years. It was chosen as the flower for the state of New Hampshire in 1919 because it was representative of the persevering characteristic of men and women of the state. If you live in New Jersey you're likely to see them outdoors at the right time of year. The violet was named New Jersey's state flower in 1971. Although yucca is a great choice for a container plant, in New Mexico, the flowers can be seen across the deserts of the state. Early settlers called them, Our Lord's Candles. The yucca was established as New Mexico's state flower in 1927. New York's state flower became the rose in 1955. The rose hips and petals of this flower are edible and have been used in both medicine and cuisine. Though it seems like the flowering dogwood has four large petals, they are really a type of modified leaf called a bract. These surround the true flowers on this North Carolina state flower. Click to learn more about other dogwood trees, shrubs, and subshrubs. The wild prairie rose, North Dakota's state flower can be found growing in meadows and along roadsides throughout the state. It was adopted as the state flower in 1907. The plumeria flower is commonly used for making lays, so is sometimes also called the Hawaiian lay flower. Curiously, the unique fragrance of this flower is strongest at nighttime. The scarlet carnation was chosen in honor of William McKinley, the 39th governor of Ohio and the 25th president of the U.S. He died on September 14, 1901, from gunshot wounds inflicted by an assassin. He used to wear these flowers in the lapel of his jacket. Although they are insignificant, the mistletoe does have flowers. Mistletoe grows on trees throughout Oklahoma, particularly in the southern areas of the state. It was named the state's flower in 1893. The Oregon grape plant produces little yellow flowers in the early summer and a dark blue berry that ripens late in the fall. Since the fruit is tart, it is best used to make jelly. The plant was adopted as the state's flower in 1899. The California poppy is self-seeding and drought tolerant. The California poppy has many other names, include the Copa de Oro, La Amapola and the Flame Flower. This has been California's state flower since 1903, and the state still celebrates the flower annually on California Poppy Day and during Poppy Week. The lovely mountain laurel is a beautiful shrub native to America with star-shaped white and pink flowers. Pennsylvania adopted it as the state flower in 1933, it is also a symbol of Connecticut. The Puerto Rico hibiscus or flor de maga is not actually a hibiscus. Those plants are in the hibiscus genus. They do both belong in the Malvaceae family and have a similar look. The state of Rhode Island was the last state to officially adopt a state flower. 
Even though Rhode Island schoolchildren voted the violet as the state's flower in 1897, it wasn't officially the state's flower until 1968. In 1924 the yellow jessamine was designated as South Carolina's state flower. Jessamine can be found throughout the state and is also featured on the South Carolina state-themed quarter. The pasque flower is also known as prairie crocus, cut leaf aninome, prairie smoke or pulsatile. It is a small perennial that bears purple flowers similar to the crocus somewhat in appearance. The pasque flower is highly toxic and has been placed in both genus anemone, others the genus pulsatilla. The purple iris, iris SPP, is in the Iridaceae family. There is an abundance of colors available besides the purple one specifically designated as the state flower. The iris was adopted as Tennessee's state flower in 1933. There are actually five species of bluebonnets lupinus, that have been named as the state flower of Texas. All of these beauties feature blue flowers. Their siblings in the lupinus genus are the garden lupins. The beautiful yellow trumpet bush is related to the Cape honeysuckle, Tico Maria capensis. Both of the plants are part of the Bignoniaceae family. Utah adopted its state flower in 1911 and was chosen as the state flower because of its historic significance to the state. In the mid-1800s, the root of the Sego lily was eaten during a plague of crickets that destroyed the settlers' crops. Vermont's state flower is the herbal red clover, named as its flower in 1895. Although not indigenous to America, the red clover is a hardy herb that now grows in many regions globally. The Rocky Mountain Columbine was discovered in 1820 on Pikes Peak and later became the state's flower in 1899. This easy perennial has a strong aroma that attracts butterflies, hummingbirds, and bees to its nectar. Virginia's state flower was adopted in 1918. The wood of this plant was valued to carpenters, as it produces a strong material that was ideal for making arrows, the handles of tools and other small items requiring hard wood. The coast rhododendron was first discovered by Archibald Menzies in 1792, and the seeds were sent to England in 1850 by William Lobb. Although this flower was initially selected as the state flower in 1892 by the women of Washington, it didn't officially become the state flower until 1959. The rhododendron, rhododendron maximum, became West Virginia's state flower in 1903. Similar to the flowers of other states, it was voted by schoolchildren. The common name for this species of violet is the common blue violet. It is a herbaceous perennial that comes from eastern North America. In some areas, it is considered to be invasive and may spread throughout your lawn and plant beds. Illinois, New Jersey, and Rhode Island also claim the violet as their state flower. Indian paintbrush is a lovely perennial flower that is native to the United States. It features spikes of what appear to be red blossoms. The scarlet parts are actually sepals and modified leaves called bracts. Adopted in 1907 by Connecticut, the mountain laurel is a gorgeous Native American shrub. The sight of this flower was first recorded in America in early colonial times and has origins in the eastern U.S. Even though Georgia has been coined the peach state, Delaware adopted the peach blossom way back in 1895 and even has peach pie as its official state dessert. During that time, Delaware orchards had hundreds of peach trees, making the fruit plentiful statewide. This hybrid perpetual is well known for its full, rich blooms and lovely fragrance. These hardy flowers can grow 12 to 15 feet high, in a variety of hues that fall mostly within the pink and red spectrum of color. Oranges are commonly grown throughout the state of Florida as are other species of citrus. The ones grown there are mostly used for making juice, while the ones grown in California are for fresh eating. The sweetly scented blossoms, which have been Florida's state flower since 1909, are the source of orange blossom honey. Orange juice is also the official state beverage. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more interesting videos. And please hit the like button for the YouTube algorithm.